Hey guys, welcome back to Rated RPG. Ray here, and today we are talking about PlayStation and its futures. What with the Microsoft acquisition of Activision Blizzard having just literally happened before making this video, there's a lot of questions going out there about what is PlayStation's future look like. Microsoft, they have a lot more money. They have a lot more resources and a lot more ways to engage with their ecosystem. PlayStation, by comparison, is a much smaller venture in terms of what they have available to them and what they're trying to do. Now, the big thing that people talk about is how PlayStation sells consoles at a loss and then makes their money back on the back end from selling their big blockbuster titles. So... What is the tipping point, though? At what point do you either go with an Xbox or do you go with the PlayStation? Or, thanks to this whole diversification that Microsoft has been doing, do you engage with Games Pass through some sort of alternative means, through either mobile gaming and xCloud, or via Games Pass on PC and still buy a PlayStation? Because PlayStation, you know, is going to be just that a PlayStation. Or at least that's what we thought. There are lots of questions going around about the future of PlayStation. The first thing we've heard about for quite a while now, in the past month or so, is what's going on in terms of a PlayStation retaliatory strike when it comes to their version of Games Pass. There's been some credible leaks that we should hear a uh, something coming soon, possibly, about an announcement regarding a PlayStation versions of Game Pass. What this will actually entail, we have absolutely no clue whatsoever. But we've also heard that PlayStation Now cards are being pulled from stores all across the United States, all across Europe now, so you can no longer buy a physical gift card for PlayStation Now. So that's assumed to be... PlayStation getting ready for the future integration of PlayStation Now into PlayStation Plus, a PlayStation version of Games Pass, if you will. But now, let's take a look at this. A rumor has shown up that PlayStation is getting ready to launch some sort of patch for PlayStation 5 that will integrate PlayStation 3 backwards compatibility into the system. So apparently what's been going on is that we have people going into the PlayStation 5 store, looking up games, and they've been finding examples of PlayStation 3 games for sale in the PlayStation 5 store. And these are not being marked as for PlayStation Now. They have actual prices on them. If you go into PlayStation, you search a game that is a PlayStation 3 game, but it's only available on PlayStation Now, it will not have a price. But you go in there right now, and Prince of Persia, Forgotten Sands, Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones, they have prices attached to them. But what does this mean? There is a lot of speculation that in this upcoming Sony event that's rumored to be happening in February, we could potentially see something. A patent was discovered last week filed by Mark Cerny over at PlayStation, focused on backwards compatibility. So it is very possible, I do think, that we could potentially be seeing with this whole PlayStation Games Pass initiative tied up into it around the same time or future down the line, a building of the PlayStation library by trying to actually bring backwards compatibility through emulation, most likely, to the PlayStation 5. That is my prediction at this time. I could be proven wrong. This could all just be completely bat crap crazy, no idea what's going on, but we're going to we're going to actually figure out something. And if these two games that have been listed uh, are not actually part of any sort of PlayStation Plus lineup, uh, like uh, uh, Bejeweled and, uh, uh, what's the other one, Jack 3, then I could just be wrong on these. But there could be something happening here. I, I really want to see something happen here. But whether or not something does happen here is completely up 
to PlayStation, to Mark Cerny, and what they are actually able to manipulate the PlayStation 5's hardware and software to be able to handle. But we'll just have to see. Like I said, a lot of rumors going around, a lot of rumors of this PlayStation Games Pass competitor, a lot of rumors now of PlayStation 3 backwards compatibility being patched in, a lot of rumors concerning a upcoming event in February. So really all you, we can do is just wait and see. So let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll catch you next time on Rated RPG. Later.